Oh! Damn it, kid! Keep the door open longer. Oh. Oh! I was gonna shoot the... the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, there's a bomb on the door. Wow, this game is actually, like, far more fast-paced than I thought it would be. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Bank Panic. We are going to be in a bank, we are going to be panicking, things are going to be great. Now this is a game, finally we have a game about working in a bank. Um, we get to be a teller. Actually, it's a little more exciting than that. As you can see, we're sort of a gunman. We're actually sort of a sheriff hired by a bank, but I like to think that we're just like a bank employee. Like, maybe we're like that guy in the Dark Knight, at the beginning of the Dark Knight, the banker dude, who's just sort of sitting in his cubicle, and like thugs come to rob the bank, and he's like, oh, the hell with this, and he like pulls out a shotgun and blasts a few of the Joker's thugs. I like to think we're just like a white-collar worker in this game who's been pushed too far by the monotony of white-collar work and people repeatedly wanting to uh, rob him. So we got the computer showing us what's what here. As you can see in this game, we are going to be playing uh, the role of a sheriff. Oh! Oh, he got shot so hard, he he hit the back wall. He didn't die? What are they shooting him with, like, high high velocity rubber bullets? He hit the wall so hard, he took the paint off. That actually would hurt like hell, I have to say. <laughs> um, oh, there's a, a nice woman there to donate, to, to drop her money off. Um... Anyway, as you can see, there, see there's three doors, um, and they open up, and uh, that guy had a target on his butt. That was weird. Um, they open up, and people deposit their money, and you sometimes have to shoot people behind the doors because they're up to no good. So hopefully we're going to be shooting the people who deserve it and not the people who don't. And, uh, I mean, we'll hope it turns out that way. I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and insert some uh, coins here. I'm going to throw a whole dollar into this machine. Back in 1984, uh, a dollar could get you a lot, I think. I actually don't know how much it would have got you, but let's go ahead and start level one. Maybe we'll jump up to level six just for fun. So along the top there, you see the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and there'll be like a little red marker showing you when somebody is coming up to the door, and you have to turn to the door and potentially shoot whoever is back there. That kid shows up with a bunch of hats, and if you shoot all his hats, he will give you uh, prizes. Uh, basically, he'll make a cash deposit. So, oh, that's a bad guy. Okay, we got him. So it's a very interesting game where you kind of have to, like, balance uh, what happens. You know, you kind of have to balance and look for when people are coming in. 9, 10. So here we go. That's a woman. That's... Oh, there's a robber. He was... He was wanted. Good. Um, I gotta say, this bank should not have 12 doors. I feel like this was poor design on, uh, on the part of whoever designed this bank. Because you're just asking for trouble. Like, literally, there's so many robbers in town that they're just non-stop coming to this this little... This, oh, there's like a bomb over here. Oh, geez. What the heck? Uh, they're just non-stop coming one after the other here. And you have... There's a point where you have to hire a gunman to protect your bank on like a regular basis. Yay, everyone's cheering! We did fair. Everyone got to deposit their money and we didn't gun down any civilians. Booyah! So the level ends when every single door has deposited at least one bag of cash. Um, and I don't know why the bank feels like that's a good day, but it does. Um, I don't know why that little kid is, like, coming to the bank with, like, a whole bunch of hats stacked up, but, uh... Oh, I shot the wrong guy! He's like, ah, oh, what are you doing? You're supposed to shoot this guy, you idiot! You look like a bad guy, dude. You were dressed like a villain. Don't, don't go to a bank dressed up like a bank robber. Like, if I walked into a bank with a ski mask on, that is not a good thing for me to want to do. Um, I, in fact, you definitely should not be doing that. Oh, hello. Depositing some money. Oh, there was a robber right beside you. These robbers are, are, are determined, man. Oh, oh, there was one. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they keep coming. Oh, I shot the gun out of his hand. Holy moly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I was panicking. I was panicking. You look like a bad guy. You look like a robber. Oh my god, this bank needs a better system. Who designed this? This is very poor, very poor architecture right here. Oh, that was totally a good guy too, wasn't it? Okay, so I'm looking... I think the bad guys have, like, little guns in their holster or something like that. I'm just, I'm just, you know, really... I mean, what's, what's the worst thing that could happen if you shot a customer? You know, like, yeah, it's not a good thing to do. But you know what? Hey, um, bet, it's better to shoot ten innocent people than miss one guilty person, I always say. Shoot them all, let the bank sort it out. 
So let's go ahead and uh, go here. Now this is this is like a high risk bank. We're starting on level three now. This is my guy. He's been trained up to level three now. Um, this feels like a high risk bank to deposit your money because anytime you go to walk in, you don't know whether you're going to be able to deposit your money or you're going to be shot in the face. Also, to deposit your money, you literally, literally are just throwing it onto the floor of the bank here. Oh, that was a totally good guy too, wasn't it? Damn it! <laughs> okay, the bad guys have like bandits on their face. Or banditos or whatever, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll figure this out. There's a bit of a scroll going up the screen here. Damn it! I shot the, <laughs> I shot the wrong guy! <laughs> There's a bit of a scroll going up the screen here when I scroll left and right, like sort of a... Uh, I don't know if that's part of the game or not. Oh, well, either way, it's it's reminiscent of how old games work. That was definitely a bad guy. Not gonna put up with that crap. That's a good guy. Okay, fine. Don't dress like a bad guy, man. Oh, there's a bad guy right behind you. He said unfair after we shot him. Good guys, good guys. Oh, there's a bad guy. Oh, we shot a gun out of his hand, and then he had another gun. Oh, damn it, kid. Keep the door open longer. Oh. Oh! I was gonna shoot the, the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, there's a bomb on the door. Wow, this game is actually, like, far more fast-paced than I thought it would be. Now, this game, by the way, also strikes me as a game that literally should have used the zapper. Um, when I was looking this game up, actually, I was convinced it must use the zapper, and it must be a mistake that... Oh, oh, oh! He got me. It must be a mistake that uh, it, it didn't use a zapper. But then I tried it out very briefly, and I was like, Oh, yeah, it doesn't use a zapper. It uses left and right and three buttons. And that's really all you need. Um, we are, we're just getting all over the high, high scoreboard here. Okay, let's just be ba because I don't want to continue to enter my name over and over again. It just eats up valuable gaming time. We could be playing the game rather than just... Entering our name. Let's go back to level one. See how far we can actually get now that we've played this a little bit. Um, but yeah, this just feels like a game that should use the zapper. It kind of feels like it'd be cool if there was a version that did use the zapper. Or I guess on the uh, Sega Mega Drive or the Sega Master System, it's called the Phaser. Sega's Phaser. I guess Nintendo had the word zapper copyrighted, so uh, Sega couldn't use that. Oh, get out of here, bad guy. Banditos. You're a good boy. Drop your drop drop the money, kid! Drop the money and get out of here. You don't want to be part of this bank when things go south. Hoyo! Hoyo! <laughs> Got them both. Yeah, it is pretty satisfying to shoot them with the uh, with just buttons, but uh, a zapper would have been good too, I, I have to think. Okay, nine and ten. What happens if I like don't go to a door? Oh I shot a good <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm trying to go to every single door. What happens if I don't get to a door and there's a bad guy behind it? Does he just wait for me? I guess it's sort of like you have to... You have to be quick because you don't want the time to run out. So let's just go over and wait at doors like 9 and 10 and see what happens. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. You were, were quick enough on the draw, buddy. Just waiting. Waiting for, for customers. Okay, we're not going to go to door 12. Let's see what happens. Maybe there's a bad guy behind door 12. We're just, like, not going over there. I guess I I did eventually. So I guess they just wait at the door for you, is the thing. So I thought if you didn't get to the door fast enough, they would come in. Maybe the robber would actually get in the bank instead of standing on the stoop just waiting for the door to open to either be gunned down or gun you down. It's a very patient robber, I have to say. Oh! Was not even... I looked away at my notes for for two seconds and I missed, like, a bonus game. Um, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Um, the Wild West seems like a fun uh, a, a fun time frame for, like, adventures and stuff like that. But, like, if this is what the Wild West was actually like, this is terrifying. It's like a simple act of going to the bank to get you killed. Yeah, give me the money, kid! That's There's more money. More money for the bank! It's like, I hate to think what doing your groceries was like in the Wild West. Although, I guess people didn't do their groceries back then. People would just... Oh, a bad guy got me. Like, back in the day, like, nobody went to a store to buy food. You would just, like, you'd barter food, or you'd kill a cow that was, like, in your field and eat it, or you'd hunt or whatever, you know? The idea of going to the store to buy food, it would sort of be, like, a really rich, prissy thing to do, uh, I suppose. Like, only rich people did that. Oh, and in fact, they wouldn't even go to a store, because if they're rich enough, food is just brought to them. So, yeah, I... There is no shopping in the Wild West. I wonder what they would think of, like, modern malls and, like, Walmarts and stuff. Like, it would just blow their mind that 
so many things are so accessible to people these days. Just on a whim, you could be like, I want to eat a cheeseburger, and you just go out and get it. And, like, back in the day, you have to butcher a whole cow if you wanted to do that. But, yeah, Wild West, it seems like a good setting for sort of adventures. Um, although, like, to be honest, like, the Wild West was never my favorite setting for uh, stories. Like, I was... Oh! There was a bad guy holding that guy hostage. He was using... They're, they're getting smarter, guys. They're on to us. They're learning. Boom. Sucker. All right, now we need doors. Oh! God. I thought that door was done. No! Well, we're on level three. Okay, let's try this one more time. We're going to switch over to the Sega Master System version very shortly here. I'm going to try this game out on both systems. So this obviously was originally an arcade game and then was ported to the home console. I think it was called West Bank in Japan, which is kind of funny because like the West Bank, isn't that something to do with Israel? It's like a disputed region between Israel and Palestine. So it like, has a lot of political connotations now. But uh, I, I, I guess it, it must have had those connotations back in 1984 too. Maybe it didn't. But uh, it's kind of funny, it's called the West Bank in Japan, but it's called uh, Bank Panic. This, this would be a, panic, a panicful bank. If you worked in this bank, uh, is panicful a word? Things would be very, very panacific here. Things would be very terrifying. I wonder if we keep shooting at that kid, if we could actually like kill the kid. Like by accident, of course. I'm not, uh, I'm, not I'm not suggesting we murder children or anything like that. Oh, there's a bad guy hiding behind that guy. Nice try. Drop your money. What does? Why do they have posters on their backs? Some guys. Oh, there's a bad guy there. Some guys have posters on their backs that say like eleven and stuff. But yeah. Anyway, the Wild West was never super interesting to me. I like. I always remember as a kid, like Back to the Future one and two were awesome, and three sucked because it was in like the cowboy era, and I had like no interest in it. Um, speaking of Back to the Future, though, doesn't this game kind of remind you guys? Nice try, buddy. Of, uh, oh, oh, yeah, we're getting the hang of it now. Oh, she gave me a kiss. Yeah, we'll be seeing her later. That's Mary Sue. Oh, there's a bomb on, uh, somebody put a bomb on door five. We got to get over to that. Oh, nice try. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, we, we got too gun happy. We're just in the bank. Like, boom, 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 shooting, shooting at all the doors. They should give us, like, a minigun. We could just go bu, 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 at every door. <laughs> just gun down customers and thugs alike. We're in the worst part of town ever. Why would you open a bank in this part of town? It's terrible. Oh, jeez. Man, things start get going fast in this game. All right. Um, what was I saying about Back to the Future? Oh, yeah, does this game remind you guys of Wild Gunman, the game that was in Back to the Future, where the kid's like, that's like a baby's toy, and then Marty's like, baby's toy? Um, that kid who was, uh, what was his, what was his name? Frodo or whatever. Wasn't it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I can't remember his name. I'm blanking. I always blank on names of actors when I play these, these games for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to the Sega Mega Drive version. See what this game looked like when they ported it to the home console. So, Bank Panic for the Sega Master System. Now, the interesting thing about the Sega Master System, by the way, is it's like a D-pad. The controller is a D-pad and two buttons. Buttons one and two, and button one also doubles as start. So there's no pause or select. There's no start or select button uh, on this controller like the NES pad. It's, it's kind of weird. And as I've said this before, the wire uh, that comes out of, the, out of the controller comes out the side, right near the, the, the two button, which would be, I guess, the A button on the uh, NES controller. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started, and I can continue to talk while we play here. Um, our guy looks a lot happier and younger. Like he's wetter behind the ears in... Uh, in this version. Now, I don't know... I only have two buttons on the controller, but I need to be able to shoot in three directions. Maybe up will be one of the buttons? Let's see. We'll just experiment here. Um, I just died instantly. Oh, he, like, he shot out the outline of my guy. He wasn't trying to kill me. He was trying to humiliate me, and my guy's like, oh, man, I'll never recover from this. I'll be embarrassed till the day I die. Okay. How... How do you shoot more than one door, is what I want to know. No, I don't even know how to shoot over there. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, this makes no sense. All right, I think I got it sorted out there. I think I just have my buttons configured incorrectly, to be honest with you. Um, but here we go, back into the, the console version. So uh, the game looks pretty similar, I got to say. Um, it controls the exact same way, left and right, to look around. 
Um, you press button one to shoot in the middle, button two to the right, and up to shoot to the left. Um, beyond that, though, I think it works the exact... Oh, oh, up, up, up! <laughs> Damn it. I was going to say, I think it works the exact same way, but it was not as intuitive because I was like, oh, no, a bad guy to the left. I went to press the one button, but that's just the middle. So it's going to take me a little uh, adjustment here. Uh, having three buttons made this game way more intuitive. Um, I don't think it's unplayable or anything like that. It's just sort of like... Um, you know, your first instinct would not always necessarily be correct. You have to sort of adapt to the, the idea that uh, up is to the, to the left. Oh, man, we got a lot of deposits there. We can just move on to... Uh, wait, oh, no, no, no! Oh, Jesus. Same thing happened. I pressed the, mid, the, the left button, which is number one, but I'm supposed to press up in that case. Oh, get them both. Yeah! I feel like the game's a little easier on home console here, but... Um, the, again, it's the controls are like the trickiest thing, actually, that I'm finding here. Let's just wait for people. We're waiting for door seven. Oh, we also need three and four. What am I doing here? Oh, 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 I shoot the one again. I made the same mistake. Oh, well. Um, I feel like that's going to be a common theme throughout uh, our little playthrough here. So, yeah, would this game have been better with the zapper? I don't know. I got to say, it'd be cool if this had like a zapper option. It just screams zapper to me. I don't know. Like this game would have been perfect for the zapper. Let's go to doors seven and eight here. Thank you for your monies. Just throw it on the floor. We'll take care of it. At Jay's Gaming Bank, you just throw your money on the floor and uh, we do the rest. Maybe that's why people keep coming to this bank is for the convenience. You don't have to wait in line or fill out any slips. You just kind of walk in and throw your money wherever and we all we sort it out in the end. Um, we only have, what, 10 seconds left and nobody's coming to door number four. Oh, maybe I gotta clear these other doors out first. Maybe, like, no one will come to door four because there's too many people already waiting at other doors. They're like, service at this bank sucks. Ah, damn it. No, stop shooting an outline at me. What am I doing, like, held up against the wall? The force of all the bullets are, like, keeping me hovered there in the wall. <laughs> okay, let's give this game one more shot. One more. The old college try. One more shot. Let's see if we can get to level two or something. Um... It's not a hard game, but uh, it definitely, it's a game that really, you know, tests how quickly you can respond. Now, I really wanted to play this game on uh, the Sega Master System controller I have that has like a thumb nub screwed in. So the Sega Master System did this weird thing where like, um, you could, unfair? What does that even mean? Oh, should I wait for them to draw or something like that? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm just going to straight up kill them. There's no honor among uh, bank robbers, man. I'm not. I'm not here to make friends. Oh, nice try, buddy. I'm just. I'm here to gun down anyone who wants money out of my bank. But the the master system did this interesting thing with the uh, D-pad on their controller, where in the middle there was like a little hole, and you could screw in. Ah, oh, damn it! You could screw in like a little nub, and it would turn your D-pad into like a little joystick. Um, you might have to look up a, a picture to see what I'm talking about, but I have a controller that has a little nub screwed in, but uh, I went to check it out before I went to play this, and uh, pressing right on the controller doesn't work. The controller's a little messed up. So I think what I have to do is go in, perform some open heart controller surgery, and see if I can fix it. Um, oh, oh, yeah! That's how you do it. That's what they call me, Speedy Gonzalez. I'm the fast draw. Fastest draw in the West. So yeah, unfair. I don't care, man. It's not about fairness. It's about keeping keeping them from attacking me aggressively. They're the ones who started it. I'm just the one who's going to finish it. Hello, hello. Continue to drop your money off, ladies. I wonder if anyone else in the world right now is playing this game. Like... Think about that for a second. I, I play a lot of, like, really old, random games. I've actually thought about this before. And I wonder, like, is anyone else in the world at this exact moment playing this game? Or even forget about the, the time when I recorded this. What about the time when you're watching it right now? Is there anyone in the world at this exact moment playing this game on a Sega Master System? I really wonder. Odds are probably no. Like, it certainly must be the case... That, uh, oh, you have to shoot him when he's tied up. There we go. Hey, we passed the level! Yay! And the townspeople cheered for Monday had passed, and the bank didn't get robbed a single time. <laughs> it's like, if this bank cannot be robbed one day of the week, it's a good, it's a good week for the bank. 
But yeah, definitely, I must have played games. Like, when, when I recorded Battlezone, who was playing Battlezone at the same time that I was playing it, you know? Or, like, some obscure, random old game. Even a game on, like, a Dreamcast or something like that. There's a good chance that, like, the day I decided to play it, there's just literally no one in the world who was playing it at that exact moment. Um, which is crazy to think about, actually, because I guess... It's not like I think frequently about all the other people who are playing a game when I play a game, but it's usually the case that, like... You know, if you play a game that's relatively modern, like, you know a number of people are going to be playing it at any one time. Uh, but, yeah, for these old games, might be the only person in the world playing this. Makes me feel a little lonely, actually. Uh, thank God I have you guys watching these videos, so I don't feel as, feels alone. Uh-oh, door 8 has a bomb! What dick put a bomb? That bomb is put on the inside of the bank, too. It's not like a robber showed up and put it in. Oh, I was shooting at the bomb and the door opened. There's a robber behind it. But it's not like a robber opened the door, snuck a bomb in, and then he he le left outside again. It's like, that was an inside job. I think this clerk who's like busily like writing notes, I think he's bombing the bank. He wants, he wanted a pay raise and we said no. And he decided, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take my raise any way I can get it then. And if that means blowing this whole place up, then that's what I'm going to do. I don't know why he has a Christian Bale Batman voice, but he does! Oh, hello! hi yo ho ha! Nice try, buddy. Using a woman as a human shield. What a scumbag! What a scumbag. There she is. She made it to the bank, though. She made it to the bank eventually to drop, like, a, a money sack. A nondescript money sack. It's, it's so cartoony, the, the you know, uh, like, that money is in, like, a, a burlap sack with a big dollar sign on it. Um... Unfair. He used a woman as a human shield. Tell me what's unfair about that. Tell me who it's really unfair to, eh? Um, but it's, such a, it's just like a cartoony thing to have like a, a burlap sack with a dollar sign on. I've always actually wanted one. I've, I've legitimately looked on Amazon to see how much a burlap sack with a dollar sign on it would cost. Uh, but I think it's actually like too much. It's like it'd be, it'd be a fun novelty to have for like two bucks, but I'm not going to spend like ten dollars on it. It's just dumb. It's a, it's, you're spending more money then the sack is even worth. I'm not going to spend money to put money in a bag. That's just stupid. That's poor investment strategies right there. Well, we've been doing pretty good here so far. I think I finally found my groove here. So, Bank Panic. This is one of the games in the book, 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So, uh, what do we think about this game? Um, I gotta say, oh, she's nervous. There's totally a robber there. Oh, my finger slipped and I didn't hit up in time. Did we die? Did we die? Did we not make it? He's like, oh man, they're gonna fire me for this one for sure. Oh no, we have tons of lives. Oh my god, what was I worried about? Tons of lives. Sweet. Well, we live to we live to shoot again. Hey oh! Oh, there's totally a robber there too. Hey oh! Unfair. I don't care. I don't care about fairness, buddy. You come to my bank and you try and rob me, you better believe that's a paddling. Or, or a gun to the face. Hi-yo! You got another one. Nice try. Nice try. Hey ho! Took two of them out. I'm a fast shot, man. Give me the money, kid! Give me the money! I will kill all your dad's hats for a buck. I'm that kind of bank employee. I'm middle management, is what I'm trying to say. Middle management has. Uh, loyalty issues, I guess. I don't know. Loyalty? I don't know. They shoot hats is what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's a bomb. Somebody put a bomb in- Who- Who's putting bombs? This is not a- This is not a good work prank. Oh, oh, oh! I uh, shot the woman. Damn it. <laughs> My attention got divided between the left and the right. Oh, what the hell? I thought I had three lives left. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, is this a game that you must play before you die? I think this is a very playable game, surprisingly enough. I often find, when I go back to these old games, like, sometimes games that had really simple premises and really simple mechanics actually could still hold up. Because, like, okay, I was talking about Flappy Bird recently. Flappy Bird is basically no more complicated than this. But people went nuts over Flappy Bird, right? So it's like, in theory, like, I could totally see a game like this still making it today. So... I don't think this is necessarily like a must play, but it definitely has gameplay that seems to have held up reasonably well. Like it's it's a very simple mechanic, but it's kind of fun. The door is open, you try to react as fast as you can. You know, no one's saying it's mind blowing, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool game. I could see it being a fun game to play in the arcades. 
I can see it being a fun game to get good at. There is sort of a sense of mastery when the doors open and you can like take the guys out and especially in the later levels when like two or three guys all come out at the same time and you like shuffle back and forth between taking them all out. Um, yeah, that's pretty fun. Oh, shot the wrong guy again. It's the three buttons, man. If I had the three buttons like, uh, like the arcade stick had, I think I'd be doing a lot better. So yeah, I think this game, I think this game holds up. That's, that's my sort of verdict of it. I don't think it's uh, necessarily like so iconic it's a must play, but it definitely holds up in my opinion. And I think it's a, a really good example of like a classic arcade game that's still kind of fun. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I don't know what do you guys think. Do you think Bang Panic here is a game that you could see yourself playing again these days? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, I hope you have enjoyed checking this game out with me. If you have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I will be back in a couple of days with a new video and a new game. So hey, you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, when you go to a bank, just be prepared. Be prepared to drop your money on the floor and run. Um, especially if it's in the Wild West times, because things be crazy. Things were crazy back then. It was, it was literally like the Wild West. Until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, and peace. Huzzah! We did it! You know how people say, like, when I go on vacation, like, nothing gets done in my office? I bet when this guy goes on vacation, the bank is just robbed repeatedly for days at a time. Like, non-stop. Because it's, it's literally about every 10 to 15 seconds, someone is showing up to rob this place. Like, no joke. They're also, the, the outside of this bank, it must be littered with the dead corpses of would-be robbers. It's very dark when you think about it. 